Hello and welcome. Today is March 8th, 2024. We're gonna go check out Lakeside Mall. We're gonna go into Macy's men's home. We're going through the old major stores. Lord and Taylor used to be over there. Um, Macy's has, I guess you could call it two anchors. But uh, we'll run through that when we get closer. But yeah, let's go on an adventure. One point in time, this mall used to be packed. Actually, it's the largest mall in Michigan. Now it's just. So as you walk in, I get like this instant hint, hint, hit of nostalgia. I don't know why I said hint. Definitely get a hit of nostalgia. As you're leaving the Macy's men's part, you walk into actual lakeside. And like it's I mean that used to just empty. Got a gentleman with a cart over there wanting to make all the noise. As I was saying, you just have store after store after store. But this just used to be packed. Now it's just we got some paintings here. Hillbillies. You got Rick and Morty there. You got some paraphernalia grinders there. It's just crazy because at one point this place had so many people in it. And now it's just empty. From all you can see is just there's people here, and it's, but it's just, you used to constantly bump into people here. You'd be walking down this aisle, and you would just constantly be bumping into people. It's crazy seeing the mall you grew up going to, what it is now. And they're due for development here shortly, 2024, 2025. It's due to be tore down, from what they're saying at least. It appears the escalator is down. I'd like to know why they had to put that sign up. Do not enter. So here's another view. The downstairs area, the fountain. Empty. And then that's Macy's. Going towards the Macy's women over there. That'd be the second Macy's anchor, I'd assume. I remember when this elevator would actually work. The back side of it's actually a glass elevator. I'll show you that here in just a second once we get to the back side. So that's where we came in at, right over there. And then the other Macy's is over there. We'll check that out here in a minute. But I wanna show you the, the elevator. It's glass. It's always cool. Because when you go up, you got a little view of all this. looking to advertise or looking for people to advertise now this is a whole dead section of the mall there's absolutely nothing here I take that back it looks like oh nope even the pretzel peddler has decided to pedal on all the stuff still in there though that's kind of cool well looking back at what he used to sell here I wonder what year those are from. And then it's still got the old icy machine in there, the old paint scheme. Old Timmy Hope's cup. And you born. It's awfully cool. Let's see what we got down here. You got the how to. Zoom in on that. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I'm in here right now. Looking through the windows. You can tell they haven't been cleaned.
Jeepers down there. I don't know if there was a Jeepers in your area, but they kind of had like a like a Chuck E. Cheese indoor playland, I guess you could say. Check that out when we go down there. Just wanted to show the walkway through the tunnel. The gentleman that I guess built, designed, came up with this. So the gentleman that built, designed, that came up with this architect was named Alfred Tubman. And he built many malls from, I guess, all across America, from my understanding. Don't quote me on that. I am no professional by any means of mall builders across America. It's kind of cool because these have always been here since I was a, since I was a young lad. These were always cool to see. Obviously, Lord and Taylor was a two-story place at one point. That just goes to show you how big this mall at one point actually was. Now, here's that Lord and Taylor, or yeah, that Jeepers place I was telling you about, that indoor playland. So here, you can actually take a look inside of the Jeepers a little bit. Now this is a little different than what I remember it to be. It's still cool nonetheless to go back and look at some of the stuff that was once something. Now it's just sitting here collecting dust. Kind of interesting. A couple shelves of food right there. Canned goods. Oh, someone's living with the shark here. Roommates with the dinosaurs, perhaps? So now that we're on the second floor of Lakeside Mall, I guess the first floor, technically, that's gonna be my bad on that. First floor, the first floor of Lakeside Mall. Got a rabbit there staring at us. Keeping guard. This is what is now what it looks like. So as you come down this part of the mall, it's a little more lively. JC Penney's is down here. Michigan Hut, a local home business. Got this cool video game here. So this used to be, I believe, uh, FYE, if I'm not mistaken. Used to go in there and purchase video games. Now going back down to the end of the way here, it's just a whole lot of nothing. We got a gentleman sitting down there, we're not gonna go bother him. Oh here you got JC Penny. You got a little chill area to go hang down there, relax. Like I said, this place used to be busy with people. Now it's like every few feet you see somebody. Well this gentleman here's got a bunch of knick-knack and I remember when Abercrombie and Fitch had their store in here. It actually still looks like their store. This whole section used to smell like that whole store. I remember that. To this day, you'd walk into this part of the mall and it was just like overwhelming smell of Abercrombie. So here it's kind of cool, you got like an old fountain. wonder how often they come through and pick the change up that's in here. We are now at the, I believe it's the Sears end of the mall. So the Sears used to be on this anchor. This was a Sears end. And, uh, they have obviously decided to part ways. I don't quite remember what this was. It wasn't always a little, it was always like a playland, but it was never play big, but it was definitely a, always a playland. Got a quick 
glimpse inside of there for you. Used to be filled with kids and families now. It's a whole lot of nothing. It's a shame though because these malls are beautiful. They are they are cool. They are, I don't know, maybe that's the nostalgia in me talking, but it'd be nice to see them revamp, come back and be something. But those days are gone. So now we just reminisce on what was and move on to what is. Inside look of a little store here. I believe this was a foot locker at one point. Don't quote me. But I believe that's that's what it was. Nonetheless, some shoe store. Shoe store. Well, let's head upstairs. I'm back upstairs. And see uh, what other stores we can gander in. Old information board where they would put what was gonna be happening at the mall. Visitors, if it was the holiday season, they would do the Easter Bunny is, and he's over there now. But families are there, and I don't wanna record that. But Santa coming, you know. Oh, look, a director. We'll go over here. Got the food court. We'll go check that out here in a minute. But kind of get a visual on what's here. Go ahead, pause the video. You can go ahead and take a better look. I'm just going to do a quick glimpse over it. These are the stands where you'd walk by and people would ask you if you wanted to take a whiff of their cologne or if you needed it back when cell phones were becoming a big thing they would try to sell you cases for your old cell phone devices This here used to be one one big shoe store. You can still see the old Skechers sign. Actually, that's kind of cool. We're gonna go get a closer view of that here in a second. That used to be a Journeys over there in the corner. Used to get my, my shoes from there when I was a young lad. I believe they were called Osiris's. Someone correct me if, I was, if I'm wrong on that, but pretty sure that's what they were called. It's nice to see the old lids is still here though. This is one place that we used to go shopping at all the time. Got the food court here. At one point you couldn't even walk in here without bumping into somebody. Now it's empty. So back over here there used to be a carousel. And that's a thing in the back. I'm in here with my mom and my dad when I was a young kid. Family, aunt, uncles. Now you can walk through here without a worry in the world. So much so they don't even worry about the display panels anymore. And it's, well, window set. I don't know if you can see that. art here. I always wonder where stuff goes. Does it just get destroyed or does it move on? So we got the old Skechers logo over there and then through there there's the New Balance. And the old shoe store. These little Candy dispensers have been here since I was since I was a kid. That's crazy. Let's 
So again, we're just here, I'm just exploring it. I'm not here giving any kind of informational piece of advice, more of a nostalgia trip, if you will, looking down memory, playing what was once of, and uh, for prosperity, I guess you could say. Back to simpler times when I guess the world just wasn't so crazy where it is now. Looking at the lower level of the Macy's that we came in at. And I'll go around the building and I'm going to go on the outside of all of the main buildings and then show, you know, what, what it looks like and what it's going to be. This is crazy. If I didn't eat before I came here, I'd definitely get some Auntie Annie's. Well, Hollister is still hanging out. This wing in the mall now. Never heard of that place. Some cool knickknacks in there. So, I remember when my sister wanted to get her ears pierced. Both of my sisters wanted to get their ears pierced. They went here, to Claire's. Nice to see that that place is still somewhat around, I guess. And on that note, I think we're gonna head on out of here. Came in, got some videos, some photos of Lakeside Mall. Remember it for what it once was. What it once will never be again. Part of me kind of feels sad saying that. Nostalgia hits, saying, man, you walked around this mall when you were a kid. And, uh, well, it's about time for those days to come to an end. Some antique furniture, what looks to be antique furniture. We got another one down here. Actually, a whole store of it. Down here on the Macy's end of things. Yeah. A couple stores here. Cinnabon. I don't even know if the Cinnabon. It doesn't even look like the Cinnabon's still around. Still got that old menu board up there, old prices. I think that's gonna do it. I think that's gonna bring this whole sea and lakeside mall, going to explore it one more time before it's gone. Whole adventure to an end. I appreciate you joining and joining me on the next one, will ya? They put a ice rink here in the middle of the mall. Just looks a little small, but I guess it's a thought that counts. Thank you for joining me on this adventure today of Lakeside Mall. I hope that you hung out the whole time. Enjoyed it. For those of you that aren't too aware of this mall, again, it is the was the biggest mall in Michigan. I, I don't know if it still is, but it was at one point. But I appreciate you joining along on this adventure. And join me next time if you could like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it.